This short demonstration provides a quick overview of what the program does for you during the cycle of a customer's visit. Other clips that follow will look closer and explain the details of each step involved to help users understand how this workflow all ties together. Start by clicking New or pressing the F6 key and typing a few letters of your customer's last name. Click OK or press Enter. The customer is selected and you can see all of their information. The window at the bottom of the screen displays the vehicles you have on file under this name. Highlight the one you need and click on the Order tab. The program reminds you that there is outstanding work, recommendations and revisions from previous service visits and you might sell some of these today. The Vehicle and Revision tabs are also green to remind you of this as your day progresses. The customer is here for two things today. One is the oil change which we'll get to in a moment. The other issue is a vehicle complaint that the AC is not cooling. Since many vehicle complaints are fairly common, we list repeat issues like this in the pop-up symptoms screen. Since we don't yet know for sure why it's not working, AC Won't Cool gets this on the technician's radar. By double-clicking on it, the description and labor time fill in automatically. Click Done. For repeat customers, we keep a copy of each vehicle's LOF details in revision number 9 once we've done an oil change. That way we don't have to look anything up and can quickly copy and paste it into the order screen. Since the in mileage is important for a number of calculations, it's a good habit to enter it right now. Before quoting out this work, F12 Check Profit. Click OK. Now quote the customer and get their approval. When they agree, click on Convert to Order. This changes the estimate into a repair order. The next step is to click on Options to assign technicians. Once we make those selections, it changes every line in the order automatically. Click on Options and select Tech Worksheet to print one for this order. It will include the details for the oil change and the symptom to check out the air conditioning. This is the document that provides the overview of what is to be done to this vehicle as well as a place to record all of the technician's findings while this car is being inspected. Later, the service writer should enter these findings as recommendations and revisions that can be marketed with. It's written up, tech worksheet printed, technicians assigned, press escape and this job joins the other current work on the work in progress screen. The technician worksheet comes back and confirms the AC doesn't work because the Freon is low. Because this is a fairly common complaint, we created a stored recommendation so that we don't have to type it out every single time. This is also the time for the revision screen to get details together for informing the customer of what is required to address their vehicle complaint. No need to create the job from scratch, we have a stored job for this common service. This is copied into a revision sub-estimate slot prior to customer's approval. The customer is now contacted to confirm how they want us to proceed. The customer says they want the air conditioning to work for a long trip coming up. With their approval, we transfer the AC recharge from revision to the repair order using the cell revision screen. The technician completed the work about half an hour ago. The customer is here to pay for our services and pick up the vehicle. The order is open from the work in progress screen and Convert to Invoice is selected. Yes is clicked. It changes to read Invoice. The next step is to process a payment for the work. It's a Visa card, so I type a V and it becomes selected. The date and invoice amount is already filled in. Tab down and enter the authorization if not using the XCharge credit card processing feature. And then click on Pay. Now print and post this invoice. In the preview window, click the printer icon to make hard copies for the customer and for our files. Click on the X or press Alt and F4 to close the preview. Answer Yes to mark this order as printed. That puts the invoice into the history file for later retrieval. That's the workflow overview. Watch other get to know clips for further details.